While ChatGPT is all the rage right now, Microsoft isn't looking to get left behind. The company launched a new revamped AI-powered Bing, dubbed the new Bing, with, you guessed it, a chat feature. And now that the waitlist is open, let's dive right in to learn how you can get started using the new Bing chat. Generative AI, like what you find in ChatGPT, has taken over the tech world and beyond, with people using it for anything from writing code to writing essays. The new Bing Chat and ChatGPT are just two of the most popular examples of it. The biggest difference between the two is that the new Bing uses GPT-4, which is OpenAI's latest version of a large language model, where ChatGPT in the free version only has GPT-3.5. Also, Bing is connected to the internet, where ChatGPT is not. ChatGPT is only trained on data up to the year 2021, so it's unable to answer questions about events that happened since 2021. You'll find a lot more differences between ChatGPT and the new Bing, so let's go through learning how to use the new Bing chat. The first step is to open Edge. If you don't have it, just download it from Microsoft. Edge is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as Android and iOS. Once you open Edge, you can go to bing.com. You may see an area prompting you to try the new Bing. You can click here or just go up here where you'll see the option to chat instead of searching. Then you just have to log into your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, then you can just create one using any email address. And now we're ready to use the new Bing. Bing works as an AI-powered search engine since it can access the internet. And you can find the chat feature anytime you go to Bing. Much like you can search for images and videos, you can choose chat. So let's get to know the new Bing. When you open it, you'll be able to choose a conversation style. Each one of these is self-descriptive. We're choosing more creative, we'll get you responses that are original and more imaginative, more balanced, a similar in tone to ChatGPT, an informative and friendly chat, and more precise, we'll render concise and straightforward answers. You have your text area right here where you can write your prompts and then press enter to send. And when Bing replies, you'll see a number that helps you keep count of how many responses you've gotten. There's a limit of 20 responses per conversation, 150 conversations per day. Even though Bing does not give you answers in a list format like a search engine would, it does gather most of its responses from the internet. So Bing will also list any sources in links below the message bubble. You may also see suggested follow-up questions right here that you can ask that may relate to your own question, or they may not. If you click on this new topic button, you can start a new conversation and delete the previous chat. It's worth noting that your search history is saved to your Microsoft account depending on your settings, but you can always delete that as well. Down here, there's a feedback button to provide suggestions and report anything that doesn't look quite right. So that's the gist on how to use the new Bing chat. What do you think? Are AI chatbots ready to replace search engines? Let us know what you think in the comments and thank you so much for watching.